My office alarm went off. Is that you skulking around, Jack? Fuck you. I'm done playing games. I'm here for what you stole. Yes, of course. The CFR. If you understood just how much depended on that, you'd leave it alone. But I know you don't care. You're right. I don't. And it looks like you're not here to stop me. Yes. Yes, everything will play out as it has to play out. I'll see you very soon, Jack. was Paul's prize. Everything he'd built was based on Will's device. His plan depended on it. You better believe I look forward to taking it from him. Only one of Serene's treatments survived the explosion. His time was running out. So was everybody else's. Paul spent a long time running Monarch in secret. It probably didn't help with that whole disconnected from reality thing. Seventeen years, he lived through twice. All of it mapped out, for memory. He knew the market trends before they occurred. He had the tools to make a fortune, and he did. saw what was coming. It broke him. He refused to believe that it could be changed. And he cast aside the only people who could have convinced him otherwise. Dr. Amaral was the one thing keeping Paul alive, but reading through their exchanges, there was something more than professional going on. That's not my place to comment on. Paul was a powerful man, the leader of an empire, but behind the veil, he was a dying man. The signs were clear.
Don't do it, man. Just stay down. Fuck you. I've got too much riding on this. You're, you're not going anywhere. Seeing that face put it into perspective. They were all misled, manipulated to believing they were doing what was right, what was necessary. Liam Burke made his choice. Liam Burke was an unnecessary casualty, one of way too many. They'd stockpiled all the chronon particles from Ground Zero to keep the lifeboat running. Enough to hopefully last until a proper solution was discovered. The lifeboat revolved around the countermeasure. He knew Will would try to take it back, that's why he was killed. He knew I'd try to do the same eventually. Clearly he was right. Chamber. Doors locked. That's way above my access level. But since my friend disabled security earlier, I should be able to do this. Listen, I don't really know what the plan is, but it's all up to you now. Good luck. It was like walking into a shrine. This was There'd our been some relic. kind of struggle in the chamber. I didn't know the details. Somebody cleaned it up. A man named Charlie Wincott. I believe he chose to take a stand. Unfortunately, it ended badly for him. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems to be that kind of work environment. It took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it, and I knew it could fix the fracture. This fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did was dead. But Monarch had a way of getting to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. They've got the core here. Monarch had built their own time machine above the CFR chamber. That's where I needed to go. You still believed you could go back and save your brother? Yes. Paul took the core of the time machine from the university, hooked it up to his own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control, but that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back, maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands, maybe I could still turn everything around. The core was set, the machine was prepped. I had to put the corridor in place. Okay, this should do it.
Slow machine lady. Machine was ready. I just needed to put in the date. The earliest I could go back to was the time that the Corps was first activated. At the university. Not much time to rescue your brother. I didn't have a choice. You better be as advertised. <laughs> <laughs> 